Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today's video I'm sharing two easy farmhouse style DIYs that you can create for around $30 a piece. This blanket ladder and noodle board were fairly simple to install and you may already have some of the materials you need at home. Everything needed to complete this project is listed in the description box below and if you try one of these DIYs, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I can see and share it. Hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. The first DIY we are starting with is the noodle board, which when I first heard the term, I thought it sounded so strange, but it's basically a stove top cover to protect your stove and give yourself some more workspace. The depth of my stove was 22 inches, so we are using four one by sixes to get the correct width, but you'll need to measure your stove before you get your wood. Definitely one inch thick is the best. Something that I learned while doing this project is that wood that is labeled in the hardware store is not the exact measurement that it says on the label. So definitely make sure you take a tape measure with you and measure exactly how long each piece of wood is before you buy it. This piece of wood that we use here to get our four boards was 10 feet long and we were able to get four perfect cuts. next part you will need two one by three pieces of wood cut to the depth of your stove. If your handles are bigger you could always do a one by four but that was just too wide for me. I also don't like the look of having screws on the top of the noodle board so this is why we attach them to the underside of these one by threes before assembling the rest of our project. <laughs> Now we are ready to assemble the noodle board. I am deciding which order the pieces of wood will go in. I wanted lots of the wood grain and knots to show, and I also opted to attach a one by three to the back. It kind of gives the noodle board a tray-like effect and adds a bit more character, and this was the first piece that we had to screw on. four one and a quarter inch screws to attach this first piece and all of the materials are linked in the description box so don't feel like you have to remember every single measurement because it's all going to be down below. <laughs> Just Having the handles on the noodle board already made it a little tricky to turn upside down. You want to attach the 1x3 with the handles to your 1x6s from the bottom, that way your screw heads don't show. I should also add that we made small pilot holes in the wood before driving the screws in with the impact because this will help to prevent the wood from splitting. Thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? For each one of these, we used two of those one and a quarter inch screws. We wanted to make sure that the screws wouldn't come out the other side, so one and a quarter inch was the perfect size for this project. Do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood. Then he, he knows how to make it. We screwed in all the boards on one side and then flipped it around to do the other side. It really helps to have two people, one to do the screwing and the other to clamp the boards together. They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? best part about doing the project this way was that we did not get to see the finished product until we flipped it over and you can see how amazing it looks from the front. 
We are ready to move on to sanding and painting, so I am just taping up the handles with painter's tape so I don't get anything on them. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. But what about it? What about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? This was super tedious, and of course, if you don't mind having handles with screws on the top, you could always go back and add the handles later instead of doing it the way that we did. But it really didn't take that much time to just add the tape to this, and I think it makes a much cleaner look to have no screws showing on the top. Outside, I am using the fine grit sandpaper to smooth out the edges and make them a little more even. You could always do this step before you assemble as well if you wanted to. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about The next step is completely customizable depending on your taste. You could stain it, whitewash it, etc. I opted to use chalk paint as it's very sheer and gives a distressed look. You could use spray paint like I did or regular paint, totally up to you. The one perk of spray paint though is that it dries insanely fast. And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared I did have to go back and give it a second coat Because you could still see some of the wood showing through But if you liked that, you could always put less paint It's again completely customizable Which is what I love about this project Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me was giving the whole thing a good layer of clear coat. This protects the surface since you would likely set things on top of it and you don't want paint to chip or scratch. One of us, one of us gotta say the and this is the finished product. I just absolutely love how you can see so much of the wood grain and knots um, from underneath the paint. And I love how the handles match my kitchen cabinet poles and knobs almost exactly. And then of course I had to style it by setting a couple things on top of it just to show you how it could look styled. You can also put a decal on it if you wanted to stencil on a decal. I might be doing that later. So if I do, I will definitely be sure to update you. The second project I am sharing is a blanket ladder. These can be used in so many ways. You can style in your bedroom to hold scarves, hats, and bags, or you can drape blankets on it in your living room like I did. We are starting by sanding down all of the 2x3s needed for the whole project. The rails I had cut to 5 feet tall, but you could always have a shorter or taller ladder depending on your preference, and the rungs we had cut to 17 inches wide because that's what we thought looked best. And waited around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. It took some figuring out to decide how far apart to space each rung. I wanted to leave more space below the bottom rung for a blanket to drape but not drag the ground. So we started the top rung three inches from the top and spaced each one after that one foot apart. What's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh. I also decided 
decided I wanted each rung at about a 45 degree angle to create some interest. We placed the top of the rung at the line that we marked and rotated it until the corner was flush with the outside rails. Not exact science, but it looks great. And waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around For this project, we used two inch screws and we used two on each side of the rungs. to the noodle board project. It is so much easier to do this kind of project when you have one person that does the screwing and a second person who kind of acts like a clamp to hold the pieces of wood together and straight. And be my somebody to love. Project, I did the same thing that I did on the noodle board. I went around and sanded down all of the edges to make sure they were super smooth. And then I used the exact same chalk paint and top coat on this project as well to give it the same finish. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, 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 So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind oh, 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 So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me so much spray painting that my pointer finger was very sore and tired so I had to call Jack over and make him finish the rest of the project. like styled I think this turned out so well I might want another one for my bedroom too thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video bye guys Just watch me.